Welcome to the installation video for the Revishell 5700 series chrome pull-out pantry. Let's start by looking at the tools required. A tape measure and a pencil, a drill with an eighth inch drill bit, and a Phillips head screwdriver. Now let's go through the parts list. Steel frame, top slide, bottom slide, T-type door brackets, door bracket, baskets, four millimeter Allen wrench, M6 screw, logo cap, plastic basket clip, half inch wood screw, one inch wood screw, slide feet, slide template. Now we're ready to get our hands dirty by installing the bottom slide. First, remove the guts from the slide, creating a hollow channel. Using your Phillips head screwdriver, you can now remove the soft close mechanism off the back of your slide channel. I keep that Phillips head screwdriver close by because now it's time to put some feet onto the slide. Using your two slide feet along with your four M4 screws, attach the feet to the front and back of the slide using the Phillips head screwdriver. Just don't let that slide walk away. Now you're ready to put your template inside the bottom of your cabinet. First, grab your pencil and tape measure and measure the opening of the cabinet. Using your pencil, mark a center line. After you've marked your center line, go ahead and grab the template for your bottom slide. You'll see on the front of the bottom slide template, there's a crease that can be folded. Go ahead and fold it that crease a couple times and tear that off. Whether you are dealing with an inset, frameless, or face frame cabinet, the centerline arrow is to line up with your pencil mark in the back of the cabinet door for all applications. After the template has been centered and positioned properly, drill eight pilot holes. Align in the bottom slide over the top of your pilot holes. Use your one inch wood screws to attach to the bottom of the floor. See those two screwless holes back there? That's where we're gonna reattach our soft close mechanism. Go ahead and put your soft close mechanism to the back of the slide channel. Using your Phillips head screwdriver, reattach that to the slide. Now it's time to wrap up the bottom slide installation. Grab the two inner members and reinsert them into the slide channel. Once you have them inserted, go ahead and cycle it once or twice just to make sure the slide is functioning properly. To install the top slide, a spacer board may be necessary to ensure the top slide is mounted flush with the face frame. Grab your tape measure and pencil. Measure the opening of the cabinet once again and mark a center line. Using your center line and your top slide template, align the template center line arrow with your center line pencil mark. You may need a piece of tape to hold it in place. Grab your drill with the eighth inch drill bit and drill three pilot holes into the roof of the cabinet. Before you can install the top slide to the roof of the cabinet, you need to first fully extend the top slide and then using the gray lever, disengage the product member from the slide. Align the top slide over your three pilot holes and attach to the roof of the cabinet with three half inch wood screws. Now reinsert the product member back into the slide, pushing the product member all the way to the back until you hear a click and then cycling back out again. Great job with the slide installation. Now let's move on by inserting the pantry frame. Fully extend your bottom slide and set the pantry frame on top of the slide. Attaching the frame using your two M6 screws with a washer on each. Tighten the screws until they're snug. Moving to the top of your frame, fully extend the top slide, aligning the pins with the mating bushings on the top of the frame. Cycle the frame in and out a few times, making sure that it is not rubbing with the top of the cabinet. Holding the top of the frame in place and using your Phillips head screwdriver, tighten down the two screws on the side. Okay folks, it's downhill from here. Using your T-type door mounting bracket, remove the center screw and insert the bracket into the top of the frame. Using your Phillips head screwdriver, go ahead and tighten the screw back down. You'll repeat the process for the bottom of the frame as well with the other bracket. It's time to begin the process of prepping our door to be hung onto the two T-type door mounting brackets we just installed. 
First thing is to calculate your door overlay. To do so, start by using your tape measure and measuring the opening of the cabinet. Write down that measurement. Then, using your tape measure, measure the door width. Once again, write down that measurement. Taking the door width and subtracting your cabinet opening and dividing by two will give you your overlay. Using this overlay calculation, along with referring to figure nine from the instruction manual, begin to plot your six to eight pilot hole locations into the meat of the door. Once these locations have been marked and drilled, you can then take two half inch wood screws and insert those screws into the top two pilot hole locations only for the time being. Align the screws with the T-type door mount brackets U-shaped channels and drop it in. One of the greatest things about this pantry series is the amount of adjustment in your door you can have. Let's start with the left to right tilt. By tightening the front screw and loosening the back screw, you can allow your door to tilt out on the left. The reverse is also true. If you loosen the front screw and tighten the back screw, now your door will tilt out on the right. Once you get this tilt adjustment correct, go ahead and snug that middle screw down. After you've completed that on both the top and bottom, put the Revishelf logo cap over the hardware. The next adjustment is left to right or side to side. Loosening the two screws on each side of the T-type door mount bracket will allow the door to slide left to right until the overlay is the same on both sides. Tighten down both screws. Top to bottom and tilt, our final door adjustment. Loosen the two M6 screws and use the four millimeter Allen wrench to adjust the door tilt either out, in, or down. What do you say we get some baskets into this pantry? You must first install the top basket. To do so, go ahead and snap one of your basket pins into the back of the pantry. Position the basket into the frame and then insert your second basket clip. For all remaining baskets, go ahead and put the basket clips onto the frame but only onto one side. I would prefer to put them onto the back of the frame. From there, you can begin by putting in the bottom basket second and working your way back up. In this video, we are specifically dealing with the 5743-09CR, which is the 9-inch chrome version of the 5700 series pantry. For this specific pantry, you must put that top basket in first and then, like we said, go down, install the bottom basket, and work your way up from there. Last but certainly not least, installing the remaining door mount bracket. Slide the door mount bracket slot over your two half-inch wood screws that have been inserted into the pilot holes from step 13. Using a drill, tighten your wood screws down. All right, if you're listening to me now, we made it. Great work, folks.